Assalamu alaikum. So in this video, we will learn about the Falcon method or cone penetration test to determine the liquid limit of the soil. So this is the apparatus of Falcon test. Here is the soil of sieve number 40, uh, passing from sieve number 40. And these are the sieves used to sieve the soil. Here is the container or metallic cup and this one is the cone of apex angle 30 degree firstly we uh, put some water in the soil we take almost 200 gram of soil sample that is passing of sieve number 40 now we mix the soil so that it makes a homogeneous thick uh, paste of the soil We will mix it thoroughly. After mixing it properly, now we will fill the container with the soil. It should be filled such that there should not be any entrapped air and the excessive soil should be struck off to give it a smooth surface. We will not compact it intentionally, otherwise the penetration value will be disturbed. So for the first trial, uh, we will put uh, a minimum uh, or amount of water so that uh, we can have the penetration value in the range of, the range of 0 to 10 mm. So we have the smooth surface. Now we will put this container under the cone and we'll lower the cone so that it just touches the surface of the soil. So we'll lower the cone, cone so that it just touches the surface of the soil. Now we will record the dial gauge reading. This is the initial dial gauge reading. So we can see it is approximately 35. The initial dial reading uh, for this case is 35. This is the initial reading before the penetration. Now we will release the cone for 5 seconds and then we will note down the dial gauge reading that to determine how much the penetration uh, of the cone in five seconds. So now we will record the uh, final gauge reading. Let's say it is 130. So now we will determine the penetration in mm for the first trial. That is 35 is the initial reading and uh, 130 is the final reading. So 130 minus 35 is 95. To convert this value into millimeter, we will multiply it by 0.1. That is the least count. So we will get the penetration value 9.5 mm for the first trial. So this is how we perform the uh, first trial of the cone penetration test. Now we will perform the second trial. In the second trial, we'll try to obtain the penetration value in between 10 to 20 mm. As we know that according to Falcon uh, method, uh, the penetration value uh, of 20 mm and the corresponding moisture content is called the liquid limit. The liquid limit. So now we will take some uh, representative amount of soil sample to determine the moisture content. For that purpose, we will have a container for determining the moisture content. So weight of container. Now we'll take some representative amount of soil sample from this trial to determine the moisture content. Now we will oven dry it, or we can use speedy moisture test to determine the moisture content of the this trial. So weight of soil, wet soil uh, plus can after the, uh, for the first trial, now we will put this sample into the oven or for the determination of the moisture content. Now we'll mix or add uh, more water to perform the second trial. And in the third trial, we'll add more water and we'll perform the same procedure. 
So we'll perform the second trial now. So according to the uh, Falcone method, the moisture content against 20 mm penetration is called liquid limit. We know the penetration value against which the moisture content is called liquid limit that is 20 mm penetration because uh, now the same procedure will be repeated and will give it a smooth finish. So why we uh, why the moisture content corresponding to 20 mm penetration is called liquid limit will be explained uh, later after the performance of the test is over. Now we have again the same smooth surface. Now the same procedure will be recorded. We'll lower the cone, cone so that it just will lower the cone, cone so that it just touches the surface of the soil. Now we'll record the initial reading that should be the same as of as of the previous trial. So it is approximately it should be basically 35 initial reading. So the 35 is the initial reading now. Now we'll uh, release the cone for 5 seconds and we'll record the reading, final dial reading. So final minus the initial is basically the penetration value for the second trial. In the same way we will perform the third trial, we will add some more water and perform the same trial to get the penetration values. So this is how we basically perform the cone penetration test. Now we will uh, go through uh, the main concept of this test uh, very shortly. This test is used to determine the uh, liquid limit of the soil. Uh, the alternatively, the moisture content at which the soil has undrained shear strength of 2.5 kPa. Different authors report different undrained shear strength values. Now, there are two methods generally, guess grand method, cone penetration method. According to cone penetration method or fall cone method, uh, the standard cone of apex angle 30 degree and weight of 0.78 Newton will penetrate a distance of 20 mm in 5 seconds. So the corresponding moisture content is called liquid limit. This test can also be used to determine the plastic limit but it will be the difference there will be the difference of weight of the cone. In uh, we need to replace the cone with the weight of uh, another cone that is having the weight of 2.35 Newton and the uh, because for the undrained shear strength at plastic limit is 100 times more than that at the liquid limit. So at the plastic limit it is approximately 170 kPa. So you can see the drops. The cone weight is 2.35 Newton for plastic limit determination corresponding moisture content is called plastic limit so on. So scope of the test to determine the liquid limit of non cohesive soil. This test can be used to determine the liquid limit of the uh, sandy soils as well and the plastic limit of cohesive soils as well. This can be used to determine the undrained shear strength of the soil. So undrained shear strength of the soil can be found out by this formula K Q over H K. Q is the weight of the cone that is 0.78 Newton and, and H square is the penetration depth and K is the uh, cone factor which can be found out by this formula 0.37 plus 0.1 natural log of omega. Omega is rotation rate that can be found out by vein shear test. Now the operators and the procedure has already been explained. This is how you uh, this is the concept of initial and final reading. Initial reading is we note down the initial reading when it is just in contact of the soil and after the penetration how much it has been penetrated is found out by the difference of these two readings. So how we perform the calculation? Now it is faster uh, conclusion. Faster than Cassegrain method can be used for liquid, liquid limit determination of non-cohesive soils and soft clays as well. 
accuracy of results bend upon weight of apex angle and manufacturer now we will move on towards the uh, calculation phase how we basically draw the graph to determine the uh, liquid limit of the soil from falcon method so these are the reading initial reading final reading for trial 1 trial 2 and trial 3 now we need to find out the penetration value that can be found out by final minus initial multiply by 0.1 that is least count in our case same formula will be repeated 170 minus this multiply by 0.1 now let's say we have the moisture content values here 10% Sixteen percent and twenty six percent. We have the moisture content. These are the supposed values, and it is understood that when the moisture content will be less, there will be less penetration value. When the moisture content will be higher, there will be higher penetration. Now we will plot the graph. Insert. So we will select this graph. Okay, now select data. Fall cone test along x axis will plot the penetration value. And along y axis, we will plot the moisture content value. Okay, as we know that there we join these points through the linear trend, so we need to delete these lines. So, no line. Similarly, for this one. No line. Okay. Now we need to generate a trend line. This linear trend line. So this is how we draw the graph basically. We can further edit it. So this is how we basically uh, draw the graph of uh, Falcon method. Now we need to uh, automatically, uh, automatically draw a line uh, against the 20 mm penetration. We need, uh, we know that the value of moisture content corresponding to the 20 mm penetration is called liquid limit, but we need to draw it automatically. How we can draw, we can use the uh, linear interpolation. So, as we know that the value lies in between these two uh, values, penetration values. So, what we will do here. Now we'll apply the command trend. Trend command is used to uh, determine the interpolated value. Trend. Now we need to select known values along y-axis. So known values along y-axis are these two values. Along y-axis are these two values. Comma. The known values along x-axis comma and we want the value against 20 mm so we'll put 20 and this is how we can find out the liquid limit against 20 mm penetration so so now we'll select the coordinates of this point 20 0 and 20 and this value now we need to add the line, select data, add 1, 1, these coordinates over here, okay, 
no we need to draw another line to find out the corresponding moisture content so what are the coordinates over here zero this value and 20 so we need to draw another line select data this is to do these coordinates and these coordinates now you can see the graph has been plotted so you can further uh, modify this chart by axis title you can switch off the grid lines as well and this is how you can modify the graph so uh, that's all about the falcon method thank you and allah hafiz